make this cute little holiday mat perfect for decoration around holiday season. You can put a bowl of candy on it or a beautiful flower. I'm using impeccable yarn. It is 100% acrylic. I'm using a bright red and green and a size 6 millimeter hook. Alright, let's begin by making a slip knot. So take your yarn, wrap it around your two fingers, take this tail end and pull. And that makes our little slip knot. So let's pick up our yarn and let's do chain. So let's chain 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so now what I want to do is do a double crochet into the four chain from the hook. So we don't count that. So we go one, two, three, four in here to do a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, three on, yarn over, pull through, two, two on, yarn over, pull through, two. Okay, so into the same space, we want to put another double crochet. So yarn over. Insert a crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. Now we're going to skip one chain space and into the next one we're going to put in two double crochets. So that's one double crochet and two double crochet. So that's the beginning of our uh, V stitch. So we skip one chain space and in the second one we put in two double crochet. So you're going to keep doing that until we get to the end of the row. So it's one and one more. There we go. So I've come to the end of the row and you can see there is just the one that we skip and then we're just going to do one double crochet that creates a frame always that's how we finish our rows but instead of finishing the actual stitch just before we do our last pull through we're going to be changing yarns so let's take our green yarn and pinch off a little eye like that and we insert our crochet hook into it and pull it through and now we take our tail end and our yarn both of them and we hook it onto our crochet hook and pull it through and that will secure it tight. So now take your tail end, the red and the green and tighten it. So make sure everything is nice and tight. And now we're going to uh, pick up our yarn and turn over our work. And we're going to begin row two. So let's start by chaining two. This is how you're going to be starting every row. Chaining two. Now we find our V stitch. So if you look at your work, you'll notice there's a hole and a hole and then there's the V. So right in between the two V's. So there's a V, V and right there. So into the middle of the V is where we want to put in two double crochets. Okay, so let's yarn over and put in one double crochet and two double crochets and let's go to the next V so you can always tell there's a hole in between and then there's the V so we want to go in between the V's so two double crochets is what we're putting in so that's one and that's two and that creates that beautiful dramatic look of the V which we love <laughs> okay so I'll keep doing that till the end of the row find the next V Okay, so I'm coming near the end and I've got, uh, remember this is our chain, so always we at the end, it's your V, always at the end we put in one double crochet. Okay, so to finish double crochet we just yarn over and pull through, right? But instead of doing that we're changing yarn, so now we're going to just leave it like that and finish it off with the red. So now my red, we didn't snip it off at the very end, so I guess we should snip it off. So we need it on this side. So let's pinch the eye. Okay, and pull through. 
through. Remember how we fasten these things? So we take both of these ends, we yarn them both over, and pull the tail. There we go. And we are fastened. Now we can turn our work around, chain two, and we're ready to do this row. Again, we're going to find our first uh, V, which is right there. And in the middle, we're going to put in our two double crochets. So whenever we chain two, it's counted as the one double crochet. And we always have to do one double crochet because that gives us a nice straight edge. So one, two, into the first V. And then the second V, another two. So we keep doing that until we get to the end of the row. That's my last V. So remember our chain two. We'll put a double crochet right on the last chain two. Always make sure it's over two, not over one. Okay, so we do a double crochet, but instead of finishing, which is just pulling it through and we're done, we're going to change yarn again. So we're just going to let, we're going to weave those ends in really nicely afterwards. I'll show you. It's really easy to do. Okay, so pinch a yarn, feed it through a crochet hook. And finish our double crochet. And now we're going to take the tail and that. And this is what you're going to be doing on each side. So it's a repeating pattern. There. Turning around. And picking up our yarn. And chaining two. One, two. And then doing, of course, under the V again. Da da da. Two double crochets. Okay, and when you get to the end, you change yarn again. Just remember, you always have to finish off with a double crochet, one single double crochet. So keep doing that till you reach your desired length. Okay, so make sure that uh, you have the correct size. So this is perfect for this plant. Or let's say if I was going to do a bowl of candy, it's awesome. Or if I was going to use it for a picture frame, that's another option. But if you were going to do a big thing like a poinsettia, like a big flower, so then you're going to need, or like a centerpiece, you're going to need more, in which case take it up to here. I'm using it for a small pot, so I'm good with that. Okay, so I've reached my desired uh, uh, length, which I want to do this at, so or height, whichever way you want to look at it. So I did uh, nine rows of red and eight of green. You can go ahead and do as many as you want uh, to fit whatever you're going to put on it. But now it's time to put a little frame along the edges where it's the frill, just so it looks like a frame. It looks prettier. So let's just finish this. I'm not changing yarn this time, so I'm finishing it off and uh, turning it sideways. So now let's build our side. So to do that, let's chain two. And now we're going to yarn over and do a double crochet right into the space of the red. And that will give us the two height and the two height. Now we have to get through the green height. So now if you look at these little frilly things, they're in the back and they kind of want to go this way. So I want to tuck them under like this because what I want to do is I want to weave them as I'm doing this. So we're putting two double crochets into the green and there's my tail end. So that's one, two. Okay, and first thing I should mention, I want you to go around and pull all these a little bit tighter because they come loose as we're crocheting and now we're finishing up and we want it a bit tighter. So not too tight, you don't wanna, cause then it's gonna be, ugh, it's gonna be uneven. So just a little bit tight and that's good. Okay, so let's pick up a yarn. So what we wanna do is we wanna put two double crochets into the red, two double crochet under the green, two double crochet under the red, 
So it's just simple as doing that and while you're doing your um, little tail. So as you can see, my little red tail is here and I'm going to take it over the red and just holding it for the first stitch, do my double crochet. second one so now moving on to the green one there's my tail so I'm going to hold it over like this so I'll make sure I go over it I'm going to put two double crochets under there so this is um, what you do all the way through to the end of the row Okay, I've come to the end of the row as you can see I got one more red to do here so let's just put it right in here Two double crochets and that concludes this row now to finish this off I'm just gonna snip our yarn yarn over and pull through all the way and tighten and that finishes this row I'm gonna show you how to weave in this later let's just turn this around and let's just finish this row here so I'm going to insert my crochet hook right into this space here. Um, pick up my yarn, connect it, holding the tail and the yarn end. Go, pulling my tail, picking up my yarn and chaining two. I want it tight and chaining two. I'm going to put one more double crochet in here. And that creates my corner. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do one double crochet and two double crochets. Okay, so now we're going to go into this one here. So we're going to go in here and uh, do one double crochet and two double crochets and repeat till you get to the end of the row so i've come to the end of the row and i got one tail here and i'm um, just going to do two more double crochet this was our row going this way to even that out so i'm just holding this one down the side weaves in one and two that finishes our row so again cut the yarn yarn over and pull through and tighten okay so now if you can see all of it but we have it uh, weaved in nicely and it's a beautiful square so at this point, um, I'm just going to go around the back and just take care of these. So the way we take care of these is um, take a smaller size hook if you have it. If you don't, use your hook, but I have a nice smaller ones. So a smaller one or a needle, any of those would help. This is our tie-in, so we're going to go through here and... Uh, it through always on the opposite side because you're kind of weaving in I'm going to go down now and I'm going to tuck it into this little piece pull it through now I just pull it a little bit and I snip it and when you pull it you can't see it so do that for both ends so first thing I want to do is get all my reds. So if you look at my reds, they go in this, this one goes in this direction. So I want to do it in this direction. So I put my all four, all my four stitches. I'm going to get through there, yarn over and pull through. Go and then snip. Okay, so after you finish all your reds, you tackle your greens. The greens are a little more difficult because you don't have a little flowery uh, four loops that you can take it through. So we have to take it down to these four loops here. So to get down there, we got to get our crochet hook in here. 
and um, weave this little end so it comes down through here and then one more one more through here and if you every time having problems with a crochet hook use your fingers to pull things through okay and now I'm down here and now I just go over these four yarn over and pull through and snip okay so we weaved in our ends and now we can turn it over and we are done so we can either use it this way or this way